The minute I leave North America, I understand I'm not home anymore. Right. And that you got to modify your behavior. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can't just act like, you know, if you're in somebody else's house, you can't just go shit in the kitchen. You know what I mean? You got to, if that's what you do at home, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't anymore, but I mean, like, <laughs> but you got to, you have to be a little yeah. more aware of your surroundings, you know. And you're meeting the VIPs, the government, and stuff like that. I met the King of Jordan, and he was a fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it, and that the, that's the strangest sentence to ever say, right? But, <laughs> but the King of Jordan was a fan of mine. And the, my first instinct was, holy shit, the King of Jordan is an illegal downloader. <laughs> um, that's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Instead of going, wow, the King of Jordan, <laughs> yeah. I was like, he's a downloader. That's it. So uh, I met him, and he was cool. He was like the coolest dude I'd ever met in my life. And there was no airs of him being a king. It wasn't like this, you know, and I, blah, blah, blah. He was the most chill, humble, normal guy I'd ever met. You're at the palace, literally. I'm at, at, I'm at the palace. At the palace. In, in the personal residence of the palace. Not just, he didn't like invite me over and then send us to like one of the wings. He put us in the personal side. And does, do you ever get comfortable with that or you're like? There was no like, there was no guy standing around with guns. There was no secret service. There was nobody else. It was just us. It was like a room like this and there's no security. And I'm like, oh wow. So this is like, this is like the king's way of saying, hey man, relax. <laughs> it's going to be all right. And he cooked for us and. He was cool, and then he had a he had a gun range in the uh, he had a gun range in the basement of the palace. And he goes, "You like firing guns?" And, and I'm like, "And he has no accent." He was like, "Do you like firing guns?" <laughs> it wasn't like you like firing guns. He, he didn't sound like this madman that they would have done in like a right. in like an HBO special. Here's the king. Hell, fire guns. It, it was like, "Hey, so do you like firing guns?" Because he went to school in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I go, "I don't know." He goes, "Yeah, come on, let me show you. I got a gun collection." And I go, "Okay." And he had this ridiculous arsenal of weapons and an amazing gun range. And he goes, yeah, fire whatever you want. And he, like, it was like all kinds of guns. And it was, and, and he's like a gun expert. It's not like, you know, I don't know how they work, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was like, this one is made by so-and-so and you can do this with it. And, and he was like, you know, making sure we didn't screw up or fire the roof or anything, you know. He was, uh, he was a pretty hands-on, intelligent, smart guy. I just can't tell you guys how weird this is for a comedian to have this experience. Normally, Normally you meet a couple yeah. strippers and... <laughs> I, if I could be honest with you, I'd probably rather that. But, you know, but, 